I'm here on Latigo Canyon Road in the Santa Monica Mountains looking towards uh, the Pacific Ocean and PCH. Uh, Point Doom is just right, right there. And this is an area that the Woolsey Fire burned through um, just, uh, just last year. And what we see across the Santa Monica's as, as the rate of fire return has increased because of both um, climate change, but most importantly because of our development practices and the, and the activities of people in and around the Santa Monica Mountains here. We're seeing huge type conversions, and this has happened throughout California. But we're seeing the loss, uh, increasingly the loss because of drought, but also because of, of fire stress. Um, uh, transition of communities from one, oftentimes shrubby or woodland, to um, more annuals, more weedy types of species. And in this case, what we're, we've seen a lot of this area is the loss of our coastal sage scrub and, and, uh, and those types of communities, chaparral type communities, uh, Mediterranean ecosystems to a conversion to stuff dominated a lot by um, relatively recently introduced non-natives in the last things that have come to this area in the last 150 years. But what we're seeing here is a massive field of brassica, probably brassica nigra, but it's a little hard to tell from here, but basically mustard. So these, um, these plants have come in and you're seeing essentially very close to a monoculture across this field. We don't appear to be learning our lessons because in this area where we have, um, you know, houses on this ridge, thankful that escaped uh, destruction, the most recent fire, but many of these houses down around over here did not. Um, uh, we're seeing m new development. So right here, these poles are for visual sight lines so that we can um, uh, estimate what a, a proposed structure, house, etc., cetera, uh, might look like in terms of what it would do to the view shed of, of neighbors and people driving on these roads. Point being, we don't appear to be slowing down in terms of our rebuilding. When we talk about dealing with climate change, when we talk about resilience, we need to not just talk about emissions and energy and all that good stuff, but things like uh, the, our energy systems. So that crew down there is, uh, is working on, on checking poles, stringing poles, that were damaged uh, in the fire and that were and that are being um, uh, serviced. So we still have, you know, very vulnerable electrical. You can, and this is a great view of it with the with the light. You know, incredibly vulnerable um, electrical distribution systems here in these vulnerable areas where we do have high winds. We do have uh, now uh, annual intense wildfires and more structures. So more people at risk. More more interactions. More potential sources of ignition of fires. So in general, we don't seem to be changing much in terms of our um, policies, in terms of how we interact with the landscape, and in terms of how we interact with these natural ecosystems. So we can't just point the fingers at others, we have to look at ourselves in addition to these larger scale uh, drivers across our society. So the Santa Monica Mountains uh, still need a lot of help here to make us more resilient and more sustainable for this globally weirded world we find ourselves traveling into.